but it's been a nice sunny day here in the Finnish countryside in order to say goodbye to the truck battery. I took one of the corks out today and I discovered what I was pretty much fearing all along. The plates inside this thing have just collapsed in on themselves. Don't know if you're going to be able to see that. No, I don't think you will. But essentially, the plates which are along this way in this battery have collapsed, have sulfated, expanded in the middle, and just got them pressed out. When I've charged them, they've kind of tried to wedge themselves back. They've collapsed like this. So you can see how the entire battery is all swollen, horrible on the sides. And it's just done for. Most of those plates are probably shorted together and the ones that aren't are just uh, nothing left. They've been turned to sulfate and probably they've essentially corroded because I know this battery had way too much uh, float charging voltage for a while. A while being a couple of years. So, it's time for me to get it inside my car at least try to, it should fit in the trunk and drive it off to a recycling facility and maybe try and get my hands on a couple of 6 volt batteries or something like that old truck batteries well no, forklift batteries or golf cart batteries and maybe use them instead of this, I've been using this just for various things that require lots of 12 volt current but I've been thinking about making some smallish solar power rig because I know we are can get some well big batteries fairly free so we'll see about that goodbye all right let's see how this will, thing will fare when you try and start a small car from it I should add yes it has been charged it doesn't hold more than that I don't think that's quite up to spec anymore. It doesn't take 1450 amps to crank this car. <laughs> it really, really doesn't.